So far you have seen how to install Cypress and how to open the Cypress test runner. And also I have discussed folder structure of the Cypress automation framework. So if you go inside the E2E folder, so there is a getting started where it has all the basic examples of the Cypress commands. So inside the advanced examples, it has all the advanced level commands are used. Uh, say for example, if you want to assert something, so there is the assertion assertions.cy.js file. And if you want to play with the uh, cookies data, so there is another .js file that is a JavaScript file. So you can explore all this stuff. But before we go ahead and move on to the next topic, let me uh, give you a overview on about the one dot cy dot js file. So if you look at this particular to do dot cy dot js file, so we have started writing with the describe here. So describe is nothing but the test suit, and here you can add the test suit name, and followed by that you'll be finding the it block. So it block is nothing but the one automation test. For example, if I have added five it blocks like this, I that is nothing but we have created a five automation test. So that's how it is. So in this Cypress tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Cypress Studio, where you can record and play back the automation test by using the Cypress Studio. So in the, in my case, already I have cloned a uh, in the sense I have already installed the Cypress in this particular folder, Cypress full course 2. And here, just now I have installed it, Cypress, and now I will run the Cypress. So basically, I will open the test runner. So here I will say npm run followed by Cypress colon, I will say open. So let's uh, create the configurations, configuration file and uh, Cypress folder inside the, this particular Cypress full course 2 folder so that we can uh, record and play back the automation test by using the Cypress Studio. And if you look at here, so already uh, Cypress window is opened and it is loading a bit slowly. And here you need to select the end-to-end -end testing. So that's a E2E testing. And it will take few seconds to load. And here you can select the second option that is a Cypress support e2e.js and then click on continue button. And here you can select whichever the browser you like it. In my case, I'm selecting the Edge browser. Then I will say here start end to end testing in Edge. So now you'll be seeing that Cypress folder got created and also cypress.config file is created after creating the, after selecting the browser, all the stuff. Now I will go to the browser now. So this is our uh, test runner, basically. So it is loading, so it is uh, taking some time. So previously we have created spec file by using the scaffold example specs. So this time we are going to create a new spec file. Here you can click on the create new spec. And here we can specify the file name. So here I'll say record and play test. So that's it. Simply click on create spec. So this by default it is going to add this particular template. So here you can say OK run the spec. So that's not an issue. So it is going to load the this particular JavaScript file and also it will start executing the test which are there inside this particular JavaScript file. So right now we have not added any commands. So by default it has only one. Go to go to the particular URL. So it has so it has executed that particular command. Now simply I will close this particular browser and Cypress test runner also. Now what you need to do is so let me open this particular folder in the VS code. So here I'll go to the file and open folder. So this is where we have installed the Cypress. I will select the Cypress full course 2. And that's it guys. And if you look at here, 
under the Cypress E2E. So there is a dot cy dot js file created. So this particular name what we have provided while we are creating the Cypress configurations, right? So we are going to delete this particular line. So we are keeping this particular test as a empty as of now. So as I said just now, so describe keyword is used to create the test suite. So here let's add the test suite name as record and play suit and then you can add the test name as test one so by using the it block we can add n number of automation tests so right now we are having only one automation test if i have added two it blocks like this that will be a two automation test so save it that's it guys and i'll come back to the document so what you need to do is to enable the record and playback feature in the Cypress by using the Cypress Studio, you need to add this particular flag or the attribute in the file called cypress.configurations. Inside this particular file, you need to add the this particular flag called experimental studio colon true. So you need to pass this particular flag you need to set this particular parameter value as a true and that's it. So that is the only one change you need to do to enable the Cypress Studio in the while you are testing with the Cypress. So that's it guys. Let's save this particular cypress.config.js file. And now once again, I will open the my test runner. And it is started uh, loading the Cypress window. So here we have to select the type of testing and then we have to select the browser. So that will open the browser with the test runner. And if you see here, so in this particular folder, right? So this is where we have installed the Cypress. Inside this particular folder, we are have, currently we are having only one JS file created. So that is the record end play test simply click on this particular test so right now it has no commands right so now let's record a test so the scenario would be so simply i will go to the youtube.com so we are going to open the youtube.com and then we are going to search for the testers talk then i will click on the channel and here i will scroll here i will scroll down a little bit down then i will click on the javascript by tester stock yeah this is the scenario guys what we are going to record it from the cypress tool so i will go back to the cypress tool so this is the empty test what we have created so this is our uh, test suit name and this is our js file if you look at the test, this particular test, if you go right side, so there is a one icon, you can say add commands to test. Simply click on this icon. And here we have to provide the URL, which URL you want to open it. So let's copy this particular URL. And I will enter, enter the URL here. Then click on continue. So it is going to load this particular youtube.com and then here we are searching for the tester stock then we are going to create the sorry we are going to click on the search icon and then i will go to the tester stock channel and here i will scroll a little bit then i will click on the javascript by tester stock So that's it guys. So this is the scenario what we have recorded and you will see the two save buttons here. On the right side top you will see the save button on one here and another save button you can see here save commands. So let's use the save button which is there on the right side top. Simply click on the save. So it is going to save this particular test and also it is going to rerun the scenario what we have automated by using the Cypress Studio 
record and playback option so it has opened the youtube.com and it is searching for the test test stock channel and it's going to and finally it is click, clicking on the sorry guys it is clicking on the javascript by test test stock playlist so that's it guys and if you look at the test also so our test is passing right so if you see the check mark over here so our test is passing successfully so let's add the another test you can go over inside you can go over the <clears throat> sorry guys you can go over this particular suit if you move right side so here you will see the icon called add new test so let's add the new test this time and this time what we are doing is simply we will be opening the youtube.com where we are searching for the javascript by tester stock so that's it guys and after that we are going to end the test so here i'm entering the url and after going to the youtube.com so previously we were searching for tester stock and this time we are searching for the javascript by testers stock so that's it guys simply i will click on this search icon so this is our test so previously we have used this particular save button which is there in the right side so this time i am using the another save button that is a save commands button so simply i will click on save commands and here we have to provide the test name so here i'll say javascript by tester stock you can give any name to this particular test and click on save we have saved the test right now and it is going to rerun the whole js file so which has the total two tests as of now so it is executing the very first test that is a test one and which is searching for the tester stock and it is going to click on the javascript by tester stock playlist so that's it guys if you look at here so it is started executing the second test so it is it has already opened uh, youtube.com and it is searching for the javascript by tester stock so that's it guys if you look at the test status also so test one is passed and javascript by tester stock also it is got passed if you click on this particular test it will display you all the steps now i will navigate to the vs code where we have uh, loaded the entire uh, cypress uh, automation framework so if you look at this particular .js file that's our javascript file what we have created in the beginning of uh, this tutorial so it has generated this particular whole code in the test one so it has generated this particular code and if you look at this one so this particular thing is added by the cypress studio it is saying that it is generated this particular code is generated by using the cypress studio in the first test what we are doing is we are going to this url then we are searching for the test stock then we are going inside the test stock channel then we are clicking on the javascript by test stock playlist in the first test and coming to the second test we are going to the youtube.com and we are searching for the javascript by test stock then simply we are finishing the test so this is how you can create the record and playback test by using the cypress studio cypress studio has some of some limitations so if you see these limitations so it is very good to know the some of the cypress studio limitations the very first limitation is cypress studio is currently available for only end to end testing cypress studio is uh, not available for the component testing and the second limitation of cypress studio is it does not support for the writing test which domain uses the multiple origins so that is the second limitation of cypress studio 